What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to Tool Craze. Today we're going to check out Milwaukee's cordless M18 wet dry vacuum. What's nice about this vacuum is that it's small and compact and it's about the size of a small toolbox. And it's cordless, so you can take it with you just about anywhere. You don't have to hunt down outlets and you can even work where there's no power. And because of its small size, it's perfect for small pickups, as you don't need to bust out a larger vacuum for small messes. It uses Milwaukee's current M18 batteries and is also backwards compatible for all you old school Milwaukee fans that are still using V18 power tools so you can pop in those same batteries in here and it'll work just fine. So it's got a 2 gallon tank capacity and it can suck up both dry messes and liquids. This is perfect for small messes, picking up sawdust, wood chips, dirt and debris and is even great for plumbers for sucking up water from a plugged up sink or even a toilet. It includes a very nice and flexible hose. It's not like those cheap plastic hoses on typical wet dry vacuums as it's very premium with a smooth rubber feel. And although it looks very short, it can actually expand up to six and a half feet to give you good reach. The hose locks onto the side of the vacuum and it won't come off unless you twist to unlock. It also comes with a couple of accessories such as the utility nozzle for most of your vacuuming needs and the crevice nozzle to get into those tight hard to reach spots. Both accessories and also the hose can be conveniently stored on the vacuum so you have them ready at all times and so you don't lose them. And the hose goes into the side basket. And both accessories fit underneath the upper lid compartment with a spot reserved for each accessory. Also underneath the lid is the battery compartment so you can slide your M18 batteries or your old school V18 batteries on this side. One thing that I do like about this vacuum is that Milwaukee incorporated a rubber gasket around the power switch. So if water does get into the switch, instead of going into the battery compartment, it gets channeled down safely through the side. So that's a top lid compartment. And over at the bottom is a tank where all of your junk ends up. And a closer look inside reveals a removable HEPA filter that filters out very fine dust. And it does a pretty good job as even when sucking up fine dust, I didn't notice any dust or powder come out of the exhaust port when vacuuming. Overall the design is pretty interesting and Milwaukee designed the vacuum with a box shape making it very convenient for storage and because of the flat top you can even stack other boxes on top. It looks like a small vacuum and that's because it is a small vacuum but it has pretty strong suction for its size. I was actually surprised at how strong the suction was for such a little tool and it has a loud bark as it's pretty loud. <laughs> But it has a bite to go along with the bark. I used it to suck up some debris while I was working on a cabinet. It wanted to pick up the material quickly. What stood out to me was how strong the suction was when the utility nozzle would make complete contact with the surface and it would make a strong grip with the top of the cabinet. Over here I used it to pick up a pile of sawdust and it ate it up pretty quickly. This is a great demonstration of its intended use, picking up a small mess. Obviously if you have an entire room to pick up, I would suggest using a full size vacuum. It also has strong water pickup. Honestly, all the wet dry vacuums I've used have had great water pickup. And this one sucked up liquid with great speed considering how small it is and also for a coilless battery powered unit. The hose uses the standard small vacuum diameter of one and a quarter inch. So you can fit just about any one and a quarter inch vacuum accessory you have lying around. And although it has strong suction, you don't want to suck larger items such as wood chips as they tend to clog the small openings of the hose. This is a problem I've seen with all small, one and a quarter inch diameter hoses. And the exhaust port on the other end of the vacuum also doubles as a blower port, making this vacuum double as a dust blower. This is great for somewhat larger messes as you can just blow light dust and debris away instead of having to vacuum or sweep the entire area manually. And just like its suction, it also has a strong blower port for its size. It's not going to replace a standalone leaf blower, but good enough for light duty messes. Since it is a battery powered vacuum, it won't run forever as a battery has to run out of juice at some point. So I use a vacuum with an M18 XE 4.0 battery and I use it to vacuum my car and I was able to get just a little over 14 minutes, almost 15 minutes of use. And it actually did a pretty good job for a coilless vacuum. It would have done better if it had a brush attachment nozzle, but it still did pretty good with the included nozzles. Now, 15 minutes isn't all that much, especially considering I was using one of their larger capacity batteries but it does offer very strong suction for a coilless vacuum, meaning you can suck up a small mess quickly so you don't have to spend extra time going over the same area. Also because it's cordless, it's not really meant for extended runtime. It's designed with portability in mind 
and it also saves you time not having to look for an outlet to plug it in, having to unwrap the power cord, and then wrapping the power cord back up when you're done. So if you need a small vacuum for very small messes, then this will work for you. If you need one for large messes and extended runtime, you're going to need a larger plug-in vacuum. So the final verdict, starting off with what I don't like about the vacuum, is a very short runtime. I would be more comfortable with this vacuum if it did run longer, somewhere in the range of 20 minutes or more. And my other dislike is that even though it does come with two accessories for picking up messes, I find it missing an extension wand so I can reach those messes on the floor without having to bend down to pick them up. And what I do like about this vacuum is it has very strong suction for a cordless unit. If it were a plug-in vacuum, I would say it's somewhere in the range between a 2 to 3 horsepower vacuum. So it's very strong. I'm talking about high performance for such a small vacuum. And it also does a great job for its size as a blower. So strong performance is probably the reason why it only gets about 14 minutes of runtime. And I also like the compact size and shape as it looks like a small Milwaukee toolbox as you can place your tools on the vacuum and even stack other boxes on top in storage. So while this vacuum has very good performance with strong suction, the battery runtime is somewhat short. But realistically, all cordless vacuums are pretty much known for short runtimes. And this vacuum is priced at around $99 and it comes as a bare tool only, meaning no batteries or charger are included. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you guys think of this vacuum in the comment section below and make sure to like this video. If this is your first time watching, make sure to subscribe and follow me on social media. And don't forget to check out toolcraze.net to visit the official website of Toolcraze for more tool reviews and news. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.